What's going on guys, welcome to the video. Today we'll be reviewing the six new cars that came with the brand new, fresh GDA5 Casino DLC. We are starting with the cheapest of them all, the Obey 8F Drafter. Now this car is priced at $718,000. You can find it in Legendary Motorsports along with the Frax, SADRR and the Paragon R, which I'll be reviewing in later videos. This car is based off the Audi RS5 mixed in with the Ford Falcon XR8, Australia's bloody own. Now let's get to the car's specs. The ADF Drafter is an all-wheel drive vehicle with 6 gears and a brake force of 1, with an off-road traction loss of 1 and weighing in at 1650 kilos. This car is a regular sports car which can be thought of more as a collector's item than rather a competitor towards the top of the sports class. As you're watching right now, you might notice that the car understeers quite a bit, which you'll, which when you'll see later on. It really struggles to keep up with the likes of the EC Sport or Paragon R in the corners, which will be reviewed in separate videos. As the gameplay continues on have a nice look at the car and think if you want to buy it or not. If so, prepare, prepare for some of its challenges. I should note too that this car has the advanced handling flags, but it's a new type. The flag that has no known attribute. If you want to learn about these advanced handling flags, Check the video in the description where the bro YouTuber Brohi1322 explains about what these flags are and how they affect some of the newer cars. Anyway, it's time to see how this car performs. Let's move on to the Tong for Hill Climb to see where the 8F Drafter stands on this track. As you can see, I am testing these cars in the rain, however, it's only the sports cars I'm testing in the rain. <laughs> the reason's pretty stupid. It was raining in free roam, so it rained in here. I probably forgot to change the weather settings, I don't even know if there's a weather, set weather change option, but I can't remember. Anyway, if you, watch, if you watch along now, this car loses a massive chunk of time through the corners. Which for a hill climb layout like this, where downforce matters the most, it really does struggle to compete with cars, even from the midfield of the sports class. So cars like the 770, the Elegy Retro Custom, it really does lose a lot of time, and let alone trying to compete with the top of the class. But however, this car does get a reasonably good lap time, with a time of 1 minute Next, we are testing the car on the short layout of the Blaine County 24 hour, made by Brohi1322. As I previously mentioned, this car really does struggle with understeer, only pulling in a 1 minute 11.775, which still is reasonably quick for a car that has such a big problem with the handling, but still nowhere in the midfield battle and competing with the top cars. Unfortunately there is no downforce value for this car yet, or well, a confirmed one, so I can't help with anyone wanting to know there, but an estimate will be near 1.5 or lower. After this lap here, we are finishing up with the top speed testing on a long straight 
which I made in about five minutes. I'll see you then. Here we are, finally, on the long straight. The text says 117.5 miles per hour, and that is true. This car pulls out a top speed of 117.5 miles per hour along this long straight with a time of 1 minute 32.792. All I'd like to say now is, if you haven't thought of tuning in for future reviews, I'd recommend you do that right now by subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Finally, turn on that nice bell next to the subscription button so you can see the videos as soon as possible. It is appreciated if you do subscribe, but I don't have to make you do so. So it's your choice if you want to or not. Finally, I'd like to thank my friend Will, or more known as Asotic, who made the nice thumbnail for this video. He doesn't make much videos more anymore, but he's planning to come back. Help him out by subscribing to this channel, and help me out by subscribing as well. That's all I got to say for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.